Fans, tonight is the first game here at Dodger Stadium since the passing of our longtime broadcaster, Vin Scully. We are very grateful to all who've been sharing their respects here at 1000 Vin Scully Avenue and across the country. At this time, we ask that you please join us in a moment of silence for our friend, Vin. Thank you. At this time, would you please direct your attention to Dodger Vision? Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant good evening to you wherever you may be. When we heard those soothing 14 words, we knew for the next three hours or so, we were going to be taken on a journey, a shared experience for all of us by a master storyteller, poet, and an artist. We pulled up a chair, and then our friend, our uncle, our favorite teacher, would take us away from our everyday issues and cares, whatever they may be, to be entertained and informed. Vin Scully, Fordham University class of 1949, was recruited by Red Barber to provide live updates for CBS Radio Sports by telephone of the Boston University Maryland College football game, live from the roof of frigid Fenway Park. Vin passed the audition with flying colors. Fresh out of college, just four months later, Scully was hired by the Dodgers, for whom he worked for the next 67 years. In 1953, when Barber left Brooklyn for the Yankees, Vin became the voice of the Dodgers at the age of 25. Five years later, when the Dodgers left Brooklyn for Los Angeles, Walter O'Malley brought Vin and his partner Jerry Doggett to Los Angeles with him. Together, they introduced Major League Baseball to Southern California by way of the new and ever-present transistor radio. With the emergence of the Dodgers and the undeniable skill of Scully, Vin was calling some of the biggest moments in baseball with his artistry, vocabulary, intellect, and timing. A soundtrack of the game's history. What a marvelous moment for baseball. What a marvelous moment for Atlanta and the state of Georgia. What a marvelous moment for the country and the world. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the deep south for breaking a record of an old Scully. Well, there's a lot of talk these days about greatest of all time. Goat used to be a bad thing. Now it's the greatest of all time. Well, that's the end of this discussion. Ben Scully is the greatest of all time, period. No discussion. It's him. Vin called 25 World Series, 12 All-Star Games, 18 no-hitters, three perfect games, Ultimately, the most perfect call of one of the most dramatic moments in World Series history, and the most dramatic moment in Dodger history. Look who's coming up. Sacks waiting on deck, but the game right now is at the plate. High fly ball into right field. She is gone. most comfortable in the booth and never really comfortable in the spotlight but the irish tenor took on the role as an ambassador for the game Four, it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old game. Oh, you're great. the 
city of Los Angeles. Let's hear it, Vince Scully! And the fans, whom he loved just as much as they loved him. One of the great rewards in my life is the privilege of broadcasting Los Angeles Dodger baseball to the nicest fans in the world. Finn was so utterly unique and so universally popular that his going away tour in 2016 came to him. And so cosmically powerful, the Dodgers would clinch the Western Division title on one mighty swing by until then a little known utility player named Charlie Culberson was etched into Dodger lore on Vin's final home game. If ever there was a time for Dodger baseball, this was it. Swung on a high fly ball to deep left field. The Dodger men's empties. Would you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. September the 24th, 2016, 50,000 fans paid tribute to Vin, and Kevin Costner spoke for all of us. Allow me to say one more time for the record for all of us, all of us here today and for those watching, that we will miss you, my friend. We will miss you in our radio, in our cars, in our backyard. Been a gift to Los Angeles and the baseball itself. It seems forever that you've been guiding us through your personal window into the game. How lucky we were that day in Brooklyn when the microphone passed into your hands. You were the chosen one, the skinny redhead who stood on the shoulders of the biggest kid, ready to look through the knot hole in the fence and describe for the rest of us what was going on better than a golden ticket. You invited us all to pull up a chair, spend the afternoon, and then proceeded to walk us into the next century. A week later, Vin would say goodbye. May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial. For every problem life seems a faithful friend to share, for every sigh a sweet song, and an answer for each prayer. You and I have been friends for a long time, but I know in my heart that I've always needed you more than you've ever needed me, and I'll miss our time together more than I can say. But you know what? There will be a new day and eventually a new year. And when the upcoming winter gives way to spring, oh, rest assured, once again, it will be time for Dodger baseball. So this is Vin Scully wishing you a very pleasant good afternoon wherever you may be. It's time for Dodger Baseball. Trouble 
drops are like lemon drops High above the chimney top That's where you find me Oh, somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly And the dream that she did Ladies and gentlemen, Dodger manager, Dave Roberts. Uh, first off, good evening. Uh, Vin, as he's looking down on us right now, hated the spotlight on him. Well, this is going to be very uncomfortable for him because this moment right now, he really deserved. And uh, Vin was a man of character, integrity, class, a true gentleman. And uh, he wasn't just a Dodger. He loved the game of baseball that we all love and care about. And six years ago, uh, some of you guys were here. We saw that video of uh, Charlie going deep, uh, clinching the division for the Dodgers. It was Vin's last game at Dodger Stadium, so it couldn't have been more fitting. And that night, that day, Vin had a banner hung below his booth that said, I'll miss you, Vin. So tonight, Joe and Oral, will you do us all the great pleasure of unveiling a new banner? every fan that shows up to Dodger Stadium, there's a reason you will always be remembered. You will always be linked to these five words. It's time for Dodger baseball. So now, 50,000 Dodger fans, get on your feet. On the count of three, yell as loud as you can so Mr. Vin can hear us from blue heaven. One, two, three. Let's go. 